going to tell you a story about how we turned a $5,000 personal investment into a hundred million dollar company. And I'm going to, I guess on the way here, I was really trying to determine what was the underlying message that I wanted to have come across in, uh, in, in this discussion. And it dawned on me that if I can do what I did, anybody in this room can do it. I didn't have, I'm certainly not smarter than anybody here. Um, I had no experience in the restaurant and food, food service business, and I was very undercapitalized. All I had was an unwa unwavering passion to be my own boss and to be successful. And we really narrowed in on one thing. We said, how are we going to be different? How are we going to be, how are we going to be the Subways and the Quiznos and this Blimpy guy who has 2,000 locations? How are we going to be different? And it dawned on us. We said, we're not going to focus on the bread. We're going to focus on the fillings. We're going to worry about putting the best fillings, whether it's surf and turf, Montreal smoked meat, chicken, falafel, whatever is ethnic, whatever it is that people think about in pita bread, we're going to make it mainstream. And if you think back 15 years ago, nobody knew what pita bread was. I'll tell you, it wasn't even on grocery shops. You see it now everywhere. It's ubiquitous. And it's becoming more and more popular because of people that are immigrating here from, from the Middle East. But no one knew what it was. The only people that knew what it was, they thought it was something healthy. Okay? And we opened up our very first location in Waterloo, Ontario, Wilfrid Laurie, right, right across from Wilfrid Laurie University. That was in 1997. Five guys uh, who opened up the restaurant, built the restaurant ourselves with the help of my father. And on February 7, 1997, we opened the doors. It was 9 o'clock p.m. and nobody came. Nobody walked in. It was a bit demoralizing. The next day, you know, we, we got up again. We had some stragglers. We went out and did some marketing. We probably had about 15 customers that day. And if you can imagine, Five very intense people making a pita sandwich and putting as much love into it as you can imagine. I mean, we sat on every single bite that every guest took at that pita. We just watched them. We just wanted to make sure they were they were happy. They were, and it was probably a little bit too much for them. But at the end of the day, we were, we were just so passionate and we really wanted to succeed. If you want to succeed, 100% effort provides 100% results. He goes, what are you doing? Do you need that job? He goes, or do, are you really committed to making your company succeed? You have a house, a, a, a roof over your head, parents that are taking care of you, and you're 22 years old. He goes, 100% effort provides 100% results. And it kind of, that, that really struck me. You know, it was a bit of a shock. I think he saw it on my face, and he said, listen, because the way I see it, and the way I tell myself every day when I started, it's meant to be, it's up to me.